Uh, hey guys, it's Tom here, and uh, in this video we're going to be uh, making a server. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to make a server for them. This isn't going to be Bucket, it's going to be uh, just a normal Minecraft server, which uh, Notch provides on the Minecraft.net. So uh, I'm going to be doing the Minecraft, just a um, Minecraft.net server one, and I'm going to be also doing the Bucket one. But uh, as you know, the Minecraft has updated to 1.8, and uh, I think it's on 1.8.1. I only noticed that there like a few minutes ago and I said I'll do it now. So what you want to do is you want to go in your home and you want to log into your account. Um, I'm logged in. Once you are, you'll see it. Just go onto the home page, press home, and you want to go to the download bit. And you'll see multiplayer beta server. What you want to do down there is you want to go to Minecraft server exe and you want to download that. And once you get that download, uh, what you want to do is just leave bring it to your desktop wherever you want to bring it. I bring it to the desktop and you'll have uh, another icon just like the Minecraft client plus the server. So you want to right click on your desktop and we're going to create a new folder. So you want to go new and you want to go folder and you want to call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it server 1.8 and uh, you can call it whatever you want like I said uh, but uh, you want to drag the Minecraft server exe which you just downloaded into the server 1.8 folder and uh, once you click inside that your server will be there so we're going to go ahead and run it so just double click on it and you want to go run and then it'll come up in a window and as you're there it's going to start coming up with a load and load of uh, stuff spawn area and all that so we need to wait for that to be done it'll come up done and once that is um, we're going to go uh, into the server properties and start doing that so you'll notice in the folder it's creating other f uh, text documents and uh, property files and all that type of stuff so you can just leave that to be uh, fully finished and uh, then we're going to go into the server properties so I'm going to exit out of that and uh, see when this is done so it's on 52% 56% so basically this is uh, you'll have to leave this window open while this is your server so you'll have to leave this window open while you're on the server this is your server and you have to go on your client to join obviously so yeah I'm going to be showing you how to do that but in part 2 we'll be doing the port forwarding which is uh, most people have difficulty uh, getting your friends on and playing with you that's why most people are having problems so I'm going to be doing that in part 2 once it says done the way you uh, properly uh, stop the server is in the little bar at the bottom where you type in your commands press stop and it'll say stop and server and save in chunks and it'll close automat automatically so there we go and you want to go click on the server 1.8 what you want to do is you want to go into your server.properties file and you want to click on that and you can open this with a uh, wordpad, notepad, whatever um, thing you can edit in but uh, notepad or uh, wordpad is the most uh, popular and the most easiest so this is basically where you can change around things inside your server so your server name, uh, level name, whatever you want to call that, it's your world so uh, you can call it, um, I'm just going to type my YouTube name and then whatever you, like I said you can call it whatever you want um, then you can put allow nether, if you don't want the nether just type in false uh, a few distance you can put it to whatever you want um, but 10 is okay, it's, uh, it does it. It does the job uh, spawn monsters if you want monsters leave it true uh, online mode true uh, difficulty is equals 1 uh, game mode equals zero. Uh, what game mode is is the new in the 1.8 update where you added in um, the creative mode where you can just build blocks and it's practically like the Minecraft classic, but it's on zero so that's uh, survival so you can leave it at zero. Max uh, spawn animals is true. Uh, max players you can leave on 20, um, but I think I'll put it to 10. Server IP that's what we're going to be doing in part two. Uh, PVP equals true. That's uh, if you hit someone, it hurt them. So level seed. If you have a seed you want that you can put in, you can just uh, put that in the server and it'll come up. Server port. This is two five five six five. That'll also be uh, what we'll be doing in part two. Allow flight equals false, and whitelist false, and uh, the rest is okay. A uh, Minecraft server. Yeah. So you can leave that and you can go file and you can save it. And once you've saved it and you've done all you want, you can just exit out of it. You want to go back to the server 1.8 and you want to run the Minecraft server.exe. Let it just spawn up the area again. It's just going to go through it really quick. And while it's doing that, you can open the Minecraft client. You want to go run. 
once that's run you can just log in so let's wait for this to be done you can close out the server 1.8 now and just leave the server at the actual server running or else you won't be able to connect and uh, there we go so we're just going to log in and there we go so we're just going to see as soon as it's done it's not done yet so we won't uh, join yet uh, well, your friends won't be able to join till part two. I'll be showing you how to port forward, which most people have troubles with, and usually it just says connect to the server, which uh, it doesn't say locking in. Um, but yeah, once that is finished, uh, I just want to go to multiplayer, and I should say done. So once it says done, all you have to do then is go back to your Minecraft, and you go direct connect, and since it's on your computer and you're running on, the, since you're running the server on your computer, all you have to do is type in local host so that's L O C A L H O S D T. I I just want to go join server and uh, if your friends try doing that that will not work due to um, you have to basically be on the in your practically internet provider and it's on your PC so yeah but uh, yeah you've joined the guys at, uh, but I'm just gonna put my render distance down a bit uh, hold on a minute there you go a bit laggy I suppose but uh, it's gonna put down to tiny for the time being. Right, let's quickly leave it at that. So as you can see, guys, you spawn in. This is your server for now. But in part two, we'll be showing how your friends can join and play with you. So yeah, I'll see you in part two, guys. Peace.